Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lolly P, of course. And if you're new here, I most definitely welcome you as well. And what are you waiting for, sis? If you're not subscribed to your girl Lolly P, go ahead, click that button, and subscribe, okay? So I hope everyone's having a blessed week and having a good day. I know I should have posted last week, but this youtube thing could be like hard you got to be really consistent like if you're thinking of starting a youtube channel it's a lot of work but i do recommend you do it it's fun but in this video i created this look don't know what to call it to be honest but it's a very pretty look and i did a halo type eyeshadow look so if you want to see how i created this lovely look keep on watching okay guys so we're gonna start off with our purple prime so I'm gonna go in with my illuminating cream morning aura and I'm placing that all over my face like always gotta moisturize before you place your foundation and that's what we're gonna do And after foundation comes concealer. So I'm going with my LA Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Fawn. I kind of feel like you guys get the drift of how I do my foundation routine. And if you're new to my channel, I always use my LA Girl Pro Concealer after I place my foundation. And I put it under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, forehead, cupid's bow, and my chin. And I always follow up with a flat foundation brush just dab it into my skin before I go in with the beauty blender I feel like that makes my makeup last all day and my foundation does not move from morning to night And of course, you can't complete your um, concealer without setting it. So I'm going in with my Sasha setting powder, of course, in the shade Buttercup, and I'm placing that basically everywhere I place my concealer. And now for the fun part guys, so I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Rust and I'm placing that all over my lid. So I'm going to be going multiple, multiple, multiple times as you can see just so I can get that the actual color to pop up more because the only thing I'll be placing will be another eyeshadow color and that's just going to go in the middle to create our halo effect.
So now I'll be going in with a fluffy brush just to blend out my NYX Jumbo Pencil. I will be blending it out just to make it not so harsh. And I'm also going to follow up with the um, MAC Pro Long Eyewear Eyeshadow in the color Mobless. It's such a pretty um, light purple-ish color, I would say. But yeah, I'm using that in my crease to use as a nice transition color. Just I thought it blended nicely with the, the rest of um, milk pencil. So yeah. So now I'm going to be using my NYX Foil Play Pigment Palette. I did not know they had these palettes, but I recently ordered them and like the pigment is crazy. Like I highly recommend it. It's highly affordable and the pigment is crazy. So there's no name for the color that I used, but it's the second shade on the palette. It's like a pinkish color. So to create the halo effect that I wanted, I'm placing it just in the middle of my eyes and of course before you place our lashes on you gotta use your mascara first I always put on my mascara just a light thin coat before we start putting on our lashes And honestly, I, you guys are probably tired of this, these lashes, but I'm like, I've fallen in love with these cookie lashes from um, Celeste Los Angeles. And if you haven't checked on how I to, how to apply lashes like a pro, sis, you're slacking. Go check that out on my channel ASAP. So I'm going back in with the NYX Foil Play Pigment Palette. So the same color that I placed in the middle of my eyes, I'm using that to place as my corner. I love a corner and it's definitely not a lollipop look if I don't have a corner eyeshadow in there to have that extra pop because we did not use eyeliner today. I felt like eyeliner would take away from the halo effect. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And you find that extraness. Always love to go back and forth with that.
Okay, so I was like contemplating on what kind of lipstick I should do and really I just went for it. So the same NYX jumbo pencil that I placed on my lid, I am using that to place on my lips and it actually turned out really nice. And to add a little bit of gloss, I'm just using my ColourPop Cosmetics Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Free Spirit. And I'm only placing it in the middle because I don't want it to be too glossy. Just a little bit. And of course, finish your look off with some setting spray. I'm using my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus in the shade Rose. And that brings us to the end of this video. Yes yes all right so here's the look hope you guys love this hope you guys enjoyed watching this make sure you drop your comments below on how you like this look and if you would try this halo eyeshadow look i really like how it turned out i really just woke up and thought of it in my head and i was like i'm gonna record it so yeah you can wear this on a date night which i'll probably be wearing out because i'm going out very shortly because who's going to waste this face anyways might as well make use of it right so yes thank you guys so much for watching please remember to like share drop your comments below of course and subscribe to your girl lolly p and i'll be definitely seeing you all in my next video Mwah.